Now, why this food cooking? Y'all already know. Don't come in here trying to get none of this food, bro. Why the food cooking? Wait until the food done. Oh, now, y'all already know what time it is. Say, check me out, man, before I start my video, bro. Y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification. So anytime I drop a video, bro, you'll be notified. ASAP Rocky, you feel me? We can kick it and we can vibe. My mom always cooked for me and my brother, you know, being a single parent. One thing she always cooked was cornbread. Now, at the time of me being young, wow, I missed over some cornbread. The best type of cornbread to me was after you already ate it and then the next day came and that cornbread still be in that pan and it refrigerated and it be cold. And then you go in there and you just get you a big hand for a big scoop of it and you just start eating it like that. Me and my brother was notorious for doing that to the cornbread. I'm not even going to hold you right now, right? So my mom's biggest thing was why she was cooking is why this food cooking? Do not come in here and mess with none of the food. Like you knew that as a kid when your mom said something, she had already put the fear into you. So you knew, like, hey, hey, you better not go in there and mess with none of that food, bro. All right, go ahead. I ain't, I ain't touching nothing. Because when you get in trouble and you get a whooping, so you can't blame nothing on me. <laughs> you ain't got no part in that crime when it comes down to this one right here. I tended to be the one who always wanted to taste the food while it was cooking. I feel like it was my job. I feel like it was my job to make sure mama cooking was still a one. Sometimes you just got to leave things alone. Sometimes it's best to listen to what your mama and or your daddy and or your grandparents, etc. said. So one day, I'm cooling. Me and my brother sitting there, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing my game. He in his room doing whatever he doing. So as I'm playing the game, I smell the fried chicken being cooked. It hit different when you in the house or you anywhere and somebody know how to fry chicken. And they put that good seasoning on. You know, my mom, she used to put her flour in like one of them little Walmart bags. She used to, she used to back and forth that bit. You know what I'm saying? She used to, and then uh, she might have put it in a Ziploc bag and back and forth that bit with, with them good ingredients in it, right? So I smell the chicken cooking now. You know, my nose big, so I catch everything. Mm, fried chicken. I already knew what time it was, right? So, I go in the kitchen to get a cup of Kool-Aid. Now, me getting a cup of Kool-Aid, I wanted the Kool-Aid. I wasn't going in there to be nosy. Okay, I was going in there to be nosy. But I did want some Kool-Aid, too, though. You feel me? So, I go off in there and I, oh, mom, you cooking chicken? Now, one thing my mama didn't like was for you to ask stupid questions. You see the chicken being cooked. Why is you asking me? Am I cooking chicken? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, she was like, boy, you see that damn chicken cooking. I was like, yeah, I, I see. I see. It look good, too. Don't come in here messing with none of this chicken. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I get my cup of Kool-Aid. I peel out. I always, like, I had this uh, blue cup. It was a big one. Not a tall one. It was just real fat. And, you know what I'm saying? Sure, I had that blue cup. I always drank the Kool-Aid out that blue cup, right? So, I got my cup of Kool-Aid. And I uh, strike on to the back. I'm in the back playing madness. I'm Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ju yeah, fuck wrong with these niggas, bro. You feel me? So I'm playing Madden and I hear my mama say, Alright, I'm about to go outside. Now y'all don't go in here. Y'all don't mess with that food that's in there. Wait till all the food done. That was her favorite line. Don't touch none of the food. Wait until all the food done and I serve you. Yeah, ma'am. I hear that though. This is me peeking my head around the corner. I already had my cup. See, my plan was that if my mama seen me in the kitchen with the cup, she can't say I'm getting chicken, right? I go off in there. Ooh, look, mama ain't in there. Grab a piece of chicken. I grab the chicken and I put it in my pocket, right? I don't even get no Kool-Aid. I ooh, put, the, put the cup on the counter and I peel off to the back. Now, when I get to the back, in my mind, I'm thinking, go to the bathroom and lock it up. Because my room didn't have a dough on it, but my brothers did, right? And also, too, I didn't want him to know that I had this chicken. See, he could have leverage on me at any given time. He could, oh, mama, I bet you didn't know that he had took that chicken. 
You did what? And now it's over with. You see what I'm saying? That's leverage. Motherfucker, motherfucker always trying to get leverage on you. That's why you always got to be careful what you do around somebody. Because somebody could watch you doing it, right? And see, why y'all cool at that point in time, they not saying that. But as soon as y'all bump heads or something, that, well, that's why you was doing such and such and such and such. What? Now, all of a sudden, everybody got the what type face. You feel me? So... I learned real quick that I ain't really want my brother to know I was doing what I was doing. So I get the chicken out, uh, peel off to the bathroom, right? Now, everybody know how, like, when you get that piece of chicken and it's hot, and you, you know you know when it's hot, too, because you can see the steam coming off that thing. You feel me? I know the chicken hot because as I'm pulling it, it's hot in my pocket, okay? I ain't even wrapped that bitch up. I'm trying to be got lint on it and everything, but I ain't care. I ain't got time to be doing no extra shit, trying to get paper towels and, 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 and trying to be neat. No, get the chicken, put it in the pocket, go. So, maybe I should cut my truck on, oh, bro. I don't know if I should cut my truck on. I ain't going to hold you. So, check me out, right? So, I'm in the bathroom, the first buy. I, <laughs> you know how it is when you, when, you eating, when you eating that fresh piece of chicken that just came out that grease. I'm trying to help me eat that chicken, but I'm also trying to savor the moment that I stole this piece of chicken. Okay. I know it sound petty. I know. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna cut my truck on. I know it sound petty, bro. But at that point in time, I did not care. I wanted that chicken, right? Cut this out a little bit. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I started sweating. I said, nah. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. So I'm eating the chicken, right? I done got done with the chicken. Guess what I do? I flush the chicken bone down the toilet, thinking that this is going to flush. In my mind, this is bulletproof. You can't shoot through this one. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to get caught. Because in my mind, I'm thinking like, damn, like, should I like Damn, like, should I, like, uh, get the paper, get the, get the, get the toilet tissue, you feel me, get the, get the, uh, yeah, yeah, get the, get the little toilet roll, woo, woo, and then wrap the chicken bone, and then put that bit in, in, in the trash can in the bathroom, I'm like, nah, bro, cause it gonna smell like chicken in here, bro, I'm like, damn, what should I do, ooh, I'ma flush it, right, so I just, bro, throw that bit down, flush the toilet, close the lid, now, I walk out, I'm not thinking about nothing. I didn't go back and check to see if that be a flood. I didn't. I just flushed it, right? <clears throat> Mama came in. She, you know what I'm saying, steady doing she doing. Then my brother go to the bathroom, right? This about like, because all the chicken was damn near done. You know, Mama came back and forth with a woo. So about like 30 minutes then passed and since I didn't went in there, ate this chicken and flushed that bit down the toilet. About 30 minutes passed, bro. My brother go to the bathroom, right? He like, mama, the toilet clogged up, right? So mama like, what you mean the toilet clogged up? At this point in time, I'm so oblivious, not, not realizing that you was just in that bathroom 20, 30 minutes ago with that chicken bone, right? So I'm just, ooh, ooh, fuck on me. You feel me? I'm playing the game. Mama come in there and she start plunging the toilet. Mama plunging it, bit, right? Next thing you know, now, I don't know how or why, but the next thing that happened while she plunging this toilet is the chicken bone came back up. Now, when the chicken bone came back up, mama say, who the hell been eating the chicken? Right? Who, who the hell been eating the chicken? So, I'm like, I'm like, what? Who been eating the chicken? My brother says, Mama, I ain't, I ain't ate the chicken, Mama. I, I ain't eat the chicken, Mama. Right? So I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. She said, Okay, so both of y'all don't know who ate the chicken. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I tell you what, since, since neither one of y'all know who ate the chicken, right? <laughs> I'm going to give you 10 to 20 minutes, bro. Maybe not even that long. If you don't tell me who ate the chicken, both of y'all getting a whooping. So now I'm like, 
damn. I could be a, I could be a, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean, I could be a, oh, you know what I mean? But then I was like, nah, I'm a, so I'm saying, I'm like, damn. Mama, look, uh, I ate the chicken, mama. I, I ate the chicken, right? I ain't want my brother to take that lick because I ate the chicken. See what I'm saying? So she like, okay. When my mama said, okay, it scared me because I'm thinking she like, okay, go to the room and get that bit. Ooh, she didn't say that. She didn't say that. So I'm like, huh. Is, that's it? Not like no whooping, no nothing? We go in there, we eating and shit, you feel me? And I'm steady kind of just like, I'm trying to peep the vibes on what my mama doing. She didn't say nothing. After I get done eating, she was like, keep going to take a shower first. I'm like, all right, shit. You know, Javar's usually be the one to take a shower first, but shit, I get the hot water like a mug, yeah. So I go in there, woo, woo, you feel me? I used to always, like, shorts, you know what I'm saying? little muscle shirt or something, boxes and shit. Boom, 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 put all that on the toilet. I'm going to grab my towel, and I'm going to, ah, right? But for some reason, this time, I ain't, I ain't do none of that. I ain't have my clothes sitting there. Wait, nah, nah, I did, bro. And I had, I'm tripped out. I had everything sitting there in the towel, right? I'm in that bitch. Living my life like it's golden. I'm living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Li living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Not even knowing that that dough head came open. So when I get done rinsing off and everything, you know, I make sure all the soap off me, you feel me? I go to uh, open up the curtain. When I open up the curtain, nothing's there. I hop out, ooh, right? So when I hop out, it's like this little cut. It was like this little cut in the bathroom where the tiles was, you feel me? On like this little shelf. So I look, no tiles on the shelf. Mom used to always keep tiles on the shelf. I'm like, damn, all right, well. So I'm getting back in the shower. I cut the water on, and I'm yelling for my brother like, hey, baby, I need a towel, baby, you feel me? The door come over, now, when the dough come on, I'm thinking to my brother, like, hey, bitch, just leave it on the on, on the little, on the uh, toilet seat, you feel me? I'm, I'm going to take care of it. The curtain come open. <laughs> now, when the curtain come open, I'm already like, what the? That's how I'm like, what the fuck? Next thing you know, it didn't already got up. The belt didn't already. Listen to me when I tell you all this. You ain't never had no whooping until you had one in the shower. Okay, because you have to understand, even though I already rinsed off in it, it's still a little soap on, 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 on the ground, on the floor, in the tub, you feel me? So she upped that bit. Mom, now the first lick, since I'm already wet, put me in shock mode. Okay, now it was either uh, tuck and roll or goddamn me trying to get up out of there. You feel me? So the first one, ow, I promise you, bro, that first lick. Like, I just hit me ball. Like, everything, like, kind of, like, was a that's so raven moment. You feel me? Instead of me seeing the future, I seen the past. Because when she hit me, ow, and as she keep hitting me, the only thing I could think of is, damn, you, you, you put yourself in this situation because you wanted to steal chicken. My man, that bitch. Yeah. So I'm already laying down in the tub. I'm tr I'm trying to cover myself, and I'm trying not to give her an angle. You know, I'm 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 really on my boxing shit right now. You hear me? All over some chicken, bro. Mama get done whooping me over the chicken, and you know, like black women. And me, I'm not gonna lie. Black folk, when they whoop you, it's like it's like they telling a story. Or it's like they reading a book. Because every lick you get is gonna be a word. They literally talking to you as they whooping you. I told y'all this in previous stories. Here we go. Then I tell your motherfucking ass. Not to eat the chicken, huh? 
Now, what I also told y'all, it's going to be a pause moment, and then she's going to get back to it. Huh? Huh? And I'm like, Mom, I, 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 you feel me? I can't even really just politic with her because she whooping me. Okay? After she get done whooping me, right, you know, I'm... So as she go out the bathroom, I immediately pull the tray off of uh, Boys in the Hood. <laughs> you hear me? I'm I'm in that motherfucker. In my mind, she right there in front of me. But I know I never do nothing like that. Because not only when my mama try to beat me up, my granny, both my uncles and shit, my aunties, they going to try to get my cousins them involved, my mama boyfriend at the time, the mailman probably would have came, Mr. McCain, from the from, from he was the deacon in our church, he probably would have came and got on my ass, Mr. Charlie down the street. Everybody in the community would have wanted to put hands on me because I had hit my mama. So I'm going to just pull a tray off baby boy. <laughs> you hear me? I come out the bathroom and shit. My brother, he on some. He on some. <laughs> Stupid. Mm, th that what we doing? Because if I knew you was going to do this, my nigga, I would have never said nothing. And we both would have got a whooping. You hear me? But, I, but look, I, I ain't that type of dude, though. I took my L, bro. Right? Me getting a whooping about chicken has to be one of the dumbest things I ever done in my life. Okay? I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not even going to hold you. Now, let's jump into... Nah, you know what? No, nah, that's not... This is. And this was another story I found on Facebook. I done done so many stories on Facebook, bro, that I can I can I can remaster on YouTube, bro, and just stretch it. Cause I only had 10 minutes. So one day I'm cooler. At this time, I'm probably like 10. I'm like 9, 10 years old. My mama knew him. My mama raised us to where at that age, me and my brother could keep ourselves at our house. Okay. And my, 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 my biggest thing was don't let nobody in my house. We were cool. My brother knew how to cook and shit. I ain't really know how to cook. You know what I'm saying? So I depended on him with that. Then, you know, like I was big enough to get the stuff that he needed. We had like at that time, we didn't have a game. We just was on TV and on type of time. You feel me? Whatever. Woo -woo. So. My brother ended up getting grinded for doing something he ain't had no business doing. Now, my mama has a foreign rule to where if you grounded, if my brother grounded and I do something wrong and I get a whooping, I go on punishment, he gets off punishment. You feel me? But if I don't do nothing, she, he's just going to stay on punishment until she feels like he can get off punishment. So my brother in the back, you feel me? He on punishment, whatever. Mama like, all right, you know, we finna go ahead and leave. You know, my uncles and then my aunts and was there, whatever. She was like, we'll be back. And then her husband that she was married to was like, she was like, we'll be back. Woo, woo, woo. Don't let, we know mama, don't let nobody in your house. Keep the doors locked. We, we, we got it, we got it. All right, all right. So they leave. Now I'm in the kitchen and I had made me like a little bologna sandwich, right? I make the little bologna sandwich. And I'm eating that bit. I'm... The only thing I can think of in my mind is, that bitch so do taste good when you ain't grounded. I'm talking about like, I'm, I'm free right now. Oh, boy, I bet that nigga Chawar want a piece of that bit. He grounded. I'm eating that bit, right? Boy, I found a lighter. Sitting on the counter as I'm eating. What is that? That's a lighter. I picked that bitch up. I knew what a lighter was. Ah, flame come up. Oh shit, boy! Wait a minute. I finished my sandwich. Right, I finished that bit. What happens if I click this little button to the side? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
So if I click it all the way to the other side, oh, that's a left flame. I want that big flame. So now my curious mind go, hmm, what could I like? What could I like test this with, right? So the first thing I test it with is the wall. So I put the phone on the wall and I'm just watching it. Then I blow it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else? What else? What else? What else? I go to the stove. Yeah, 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 yeah. Type shit, type shit. So then I go in the living room. Now, when I go into the living room, this is where stupidity meets reality. My mama had couches that was flammable. <laughs> flammable. But when you young and you done, you don't realize what you're doing, you feel me? I put that, I put that flame on, on my mama's armrest, right? On the couch, on the armrest. Nothing happened at first, right? So I'm like, oh, shit, all right. What? Oh, shit, what? I look at the lighter. It's no lighter fluid on one side, all the lighter fluid on the other side. So I'm like, how the fuck do I get this to the other Oh, there go. I done flipped the lighter over. Now all the lighter fluid that ran down to that. So I'm like, hey, 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 hey. This time when I hit this, the armrest, flame. I was, oh, shit. Now I dropped the lighter, right? I dropped the lighter. Now I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, uh. The only thing I can think of is this right here. TJ! TJ, come in. Javaris! Javaris! So he come in, right? He soon as he hit the cut as soon as my brother hit that cut and he seen that flame he turned right back around he said that ain't got nothing to do with me that's on you went back in the room so now i'm like oh shit what do i do next like i said bro don't try to judge me of what i'm about to say next because what I'm about to say next, stupidity meets reality. I go get a paper towel. Did you wait, Key? I didn't get to that part of the story yet. I go get a paper towel, throw it on the fire. The paper towel caught fire with it still in my hand. Oh, shit, dropped it. Now the paper towel burnt a hole in the carpet. And this was one of my good carpets too. So I'm like that answer, Joe. I did not wet that damn paper towel. Ah, uh, so I stumped that shit out. East side. I'm, I'm, I was like little John and the East Side boy doing the eight 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 town stump. You hear me? Now do the eight town stump. I was doing the eight town stump. On that damn carpet. So once I got that situated, I turned back over. The fire has now gotten bigger. And I'm scared. And I'm 10. The only thing I can think of is I know I'm not about to burn the house down because I lit this this, this armrest on this couch. I, I just know the fire department is not about to be at our house saving me and my brother. And then my mama pull up. Like, what happened? But you know what? I'm going to be like, I don't know what happened. The fire just started. Thank God that the fireman got us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's a good, that's a good, that's a good. How do I put the fire out? How do I put the fire out? Like, oh my God. So then I go in the, in the uh, kitchen. I grab the mop out the mop bucket. And I start, <clears throat> I start beating the fire. Not realizing that the mop is now catching fire too. So as I'm steady beating it, doing what I'm doing, my brother come out of nowhere and he like, stupid. That's what he said. He say, stupid. Why don't you just go with the mop? And I'm like, oh, shit. Why didn't I think of that? So I go and I wet the mop, bro. When I wet the mop and I go back to beat it, nothing happens at first. So then I go back with the mop, beat it, beat it, beat it. Now the fire is out. In my mind. I know it is over with for your boy. Like, ain't no coming back from this, Key. Ain't no coming back from burning a hole in your mama couch. Oh, uh, 
I'm laying there on the couch. I went and grabbed my pillow. Put the pillow on the burn spot, lay down. Mama and them came back. Mama came back. She was like, uh, I'm going to make us some tacos. She could see, so I'm going to make tacos in the big shell flour. Not, not shell and flour with the sense. In the big, um, in the big shell ones. Y'all know the hard ones, right? So I'm like, okay. I said, mama, um, can, can me and Javar sleep on the couch? Like he been doing good, you know, like, can he come sleep on the couch with me for the night? She like, yeah. Now nah, this is how I know my mom was feeling good. She was like, yeah, baby, I can sleep on the couch. But I already, I still had my pillow there. And I was like, hey, go get the blanket. Ben, mama said we can sleep on the couch. Ooh. So he came out, grabbed this pillow. You know what I'm saying? He slept on one end. I slept on the other end. My pillow down with a little burn spot it. You know, and I'm laying there. And you know what I'm saying? We sitting there watching cartoons. We go in there and eat. And then we fall asleep. So when we fall asleep, I wake up the next morning. And I'm in my bed. Right? Me and my brother slept in the same bed. You know, we had the chef rooms and the same bed. So, we, I, we sleep, I wake up, I, mm. the hell I'm doing in my room, the hell I'm doing in my bed, I go use the bathroom, right, I'm, 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 I'm draining him, as I'm draining him, Right when you know, like when you get done, it's like that, doop, 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 like the little, the little piss that's, that's that's left, and I go to shake them. And I always been big on like when, even when I was young, I used to always take a piece of the toilet paper and then wipe them, wipe the tip off. You feel me? I used to wipe the tip off, and I always made sure I wiped the toilet seat down. You know what I'm saying? I always put the toilet seat down. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Pause real quick. I don't like when I go into the bathroom in the toilet seat up. Like that's a pet peeve. My like, if I see, it, I immediately put the toilet seat down. I don't know why. I don't even know why. When I was young, bro, I used to wipe my tip, but I still do it to this day. Like I don't know. It's just, it's just what I do. I don't know. So, look, like it's getting a little hard to see. My phone looking a little blurry on some shit. I don't know, bro. I might have to look into that right there. So look. So. My mama, I hear her and, her and her husband in there like, she like, Randy, did did you burn the couch last night? He's like, no, nah, man, I, I, I was messed up, but I wasn't that messed up to burn up the couch. She's like, well, I didn't do it. He's like, well, she, I don't know. And so they sitting there for a second, and I'm like, oh, shit. So all I hear is, well, I'm about to go ask the boys if one of them burnt the couch, because this right here don't make no damn sense. If I didn't do it, and if you didn't do it, one of them had to do it. And if they did it, I'm going to beat their ass. You hear me? So I'm like, oh shit. So I run into the I run into the room like 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 I'm a motherfucking me lifeguard off off bay watching shit. Like I'm trying to get to the water because you drowning. I'm not. You hear me? I dive in the bed. Oof. Hey, 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 get up, get up, get up. What? What? Bro, move, bro. I said, bro, look. Mama is on her way in the in, in our room. Right now, she about to ask who burnt the couch. I don't know who did it. You don't know who did it. We not gonna get in trouble, bro. Stick to the plan. He said, "All right, bro." Damn. So I play like I'm sleeping. Hey man, y'all get up. Y'all get up. She didn't cut the light on and shit. Hey man, y'all get up, bro. Ma'am, let me see if this make it better. Does that make it better? That makes it a little little harder to see me. What about that side? You know, I don't like that light. Look like Jesus coming for me. And that, that ain't a bad thing, but you know. I like my ball on the way, you hear me? So she come in, right? And she like, I'ma ask y'all one time and don't lie to me. Who burned a hole in my mug and couch? I didn't even say nothing, bro. My brother immediately, he did it, and got up off the bed and went and used the bathroom. Now, my mama was already prepared because she had the belt in her hand, but I didn't see it. So you burned the hole in my couch? That's how you know you messed up, but you trying to fix the situation. I'm not like, my like, no, 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 I, and, uh, 
and it was a lighter on the. I, I was eating a sandwich, and then all of a sudden, whew, I was trying to put it out because. And, 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 right, so I'm, I'm fumbling all my little words, you hear me? Man, when I tell you she up that motherfucker, rah, 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 that was probably one of the worst whoopings I ever got in my life, okay? Mama tore it up. She broke a belt, went and got another belt, and I'm talking about, she even like, when she cocked back, she had hit the lights, the light fixture and messed that up, you hear me? So, Anytime you get a whooping, uh, and for people, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? It was never the fact that you got the whooping because that was supposed to be in the house. It's the fact that when you go out, your aunties, your uncles, your grandma, everybody want to be like, hey, I bet you won't burn that couch no more. Hey, hey, don't get a key a lighter. He, he be burning couches, bro. Nah, me could tow, man, me could tow him up. You hear me? When your family members be the ones that steady, eh, 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 egging, boy, that'll make you so drove. It's like, bro, y'all steady talking about this shit, bro. Yes, I burnt the couch, bro. They ain't like, come on, bro. So why, why, why you burnt the couch? I was playing. Like, you act like I tried to do that. Like, I was trying to end me and my brother life or something. Bro, I was playing, bro. Like, come on, bro. Get off the gas, bro. Like, damn, I ain't over. It over, bro. Like, okay, I burnt the cow. I, 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 I got a whoop. Ah, like, come on, bro. But get what? That stuff that'll never die. Ever die. You hear me? And I had to come out here and I had to run it to you before, before it got dark. You feel me? For real, for real. But look, man, we only ask for three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and motherfucking wisdom. And if it ain't that, man, I already know what time it is with me over here. Till next time. Oh, now, man, I appreciate everybody who been rocking with the boy. You hear me? I appreciate everybody who been rocking with the kid, man. Like, y'all don't understand, bro. Like, while I'm doing this and I'm, and I'm doing this, I'm talking, right? I don't have an audience looking at me right now, but I'm just talking. I'm just doing this. I'm, I'm getting into character. I'm doing all this. You feel me? Like, I can see the love and when I'm doing it, bro, people really be like, bro, keep going, keep going. You know what I'm saying? I promise, bro. Woo, woo. And like, to be honest with you, it's like, I'm going to motivate myself regardless, you know, but it, it feels good to know that people are actually watching. It might not be thousands. It might not be millions, right? But at the end of the day, you, you got to put out that product, right? You have to put out the product and let the people decide if it's good or bad and what i mean by that is don't go begging for attention don't go begging for views don't go begging for an audience because if the product good everybody's going to come regardless i don't i don't think they heard you key i said if the product is good everybody gonna go running to that product and they going to want to know, man, what's going on? Kim Folk over here doing this. Because that product good, bro. You hear me? Understand that. And that's something that I'm, I'm still, yeah. You feel me? I'm still working on my craft. I'm still handling it. I'm still, you feel me? Remember, three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom, bro. That shit changed my life. I'm just keeping it a bean, dog.